<laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm really, I'm, I'm really just being trifling, quiet as it's kept. Girl, I really don't feel like getting up and brushing my teeth and washing my face. So I said, but I felt like running my mouth, though. See, you see how, like, sometimes we have problems, y'all. We have problems. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to just run my mouth for a little bit. Um, I was sitting here lurking on Instagram like I always do. Lurking on people's page, just trying my hardest not to double tap. That's the worst thing in the world. Did I tell y'all once, once upon a time not long ago, I had a crush on this guy at my job? Oh, my God, I had the biggest crush on this guy. It was a Hispanic guy, and um, girl, he was absolute. Oh my God! Anyway, he had a boyfriend. <laughs> girl, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Girl, girl, I don't care. Girl, I just had a little crush on him. I wasn't trying to ruin nobody's happy home. Is it really happy if he ain't fell? <laughs> no, nope, but for I had the biggest crush on this guy, and I did not know. At the time, I did not know that when you click on somebody's story, I don't know if it's still that. I don't know if it's if it's still that way, but I know like a few years ago, if on Instagram, if you clicked on somebody's story, you can see who watched your story. <laughs> and so, girl, every time, baby, I, and now mind you, I wasn't following him, but I found out, I found I found his page. So every time I saw that circle. Girl, lit up, baby. I'm clicking on it. And then one day I was talking to Brittany. Y'all know Brittany. Some of y'all, well, some of y'all may not know Brittany. One of my friends, Brittany, she did a video with me a few times. And I was talking to Brittany and I said something and she was like, no. She was like, you, you know we can see. You know you can see when somebody watches your story. I was like, no, you can't. She was like, yes, you can. <laughs> Like, oh my god, I literally just slid off the bed because you know how many times I've watched people's stories, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, they probably know I'm on their page lurking. Oh my god, I was so embarrassed. And he didn't have a lot of followers, so if he was checking his stories, he definitely saw, like, why is this, why is he always looking at my page? But he never said nothing to me though. Anyways, he don't work there no more, he got fired. Oh, he got, oh, he quit. Some, some people say he got fired, some people say he quit. Um, if he got the reason why they say he got fired, I will say it was not his fault. I'm not saying it just because I like the bar girl. It wasn't that deep, but it was. It really wasn't his fault, from what I understand. It was so messed up, though. Anyway, so let's talk about Cynthia Bailey. So I'm lurking like I always do, and I don't know what what made me go to Cynthia Bailey's page. I don't follow Cynthia like that. I really don't even think about Cynthia like that. So I went to Cynthia's page and I saw that she had posted a picture. Did I take the picture? I did. Here we go. Come on for being prepared. Yes. We call this prepared fish. So she posted a picture and she put, when your intentions are pure, you don't lose anyone. They lose you. Nipsey. Cynthia, did you just get fired? Cynthia, did you did you get your walking papers? Did you lose that Real Housewives of Atlanta check? I don't know if this is, I don't know what type of message this is. You know, sometimes the girls, you know, sometimes the girls just write stuff. And I, this, you know what I think? I would not. This is what I think I know. I think sometimes the people get online knowing that people are going to talk about them, and they post things like these subliminal messages. But they'll act like they don't. They didn't know the response they were gonna receive. Like, why would y'all think I meant? Why would y'all think me posting that meant that I lost my job? <laughs> because girls, the people walk. Because girl, the interviews that you've been doing up until now, you've basically been low key giving us your farewell. You see what I'm saying? Like, even on Wendy Williams, it's you know, even if it's my time to go, I've had a good eleven years. You know, I've been here, so it's kind of like you. You, it's kind of like you're almost expecting to get the walking papers. I would be. Sick. You know, I'm going to say this much. As much as Cynthia gets on my nerve, you know, girl, I would be sick if I lost that check, baby. Because from what I understand, I don't know if this is true or not, but them girls at Real Housewives of Atlanta make a cute little coin. Girl, I would be sick to my stomach if I lost a check. That check, girl. No, no, no. If I lost that check, I would be sick to my stomach. And we're not going to sit here and act like that check ain't they bread and butter for a lot of these girls. 
A lot of them girls, they can't let that check go and they know it. I think about the only one that could really, really just like take it or leave it is Candy. I think everybody else from Kenya to Portia to, to uh, what, Kenya, Portia, Cynthia, I think all of them, if they lost that check, you know how like sometimes when you will see a dent, <laughs> I think they gonna see a dent in their bank account like, ooh, <laughs> Yeah. Like, do I think they're going to be on food stamps next month? No. But, you know, I think if Candy lost her check, it would just be like, girl, whatever. I don't think it would make or break Candy. But for them other girls, I think that they would be like, ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, a part of me is like, you know, because when you think about it, y'all, Cynthia, once I thought about it, Cynthia really... The, and, and, and this just goes this just goes again to what Carlos King was saying, right? And what I was saying, right? That these girls have gotten comfortable. Now, let me say this. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. Girl, the production needs to go. <laughs> Shout out to Mariah. She needs to go. She needs to go. Remember when Mariah got mad at, um, what's her name? At Heavenly, at the reunion, when Heavenly had Drew on her picture, and she was like, she needs to go. She needs to go. This is not love and hip This is not, she said, this is not love and hip-hop marriage and Madison, something like that, she said. I miss Mariah. I do want Mariah to come back, but I think it's a wrap for Mariah. I will say that at least with Mariah and her lawsuit against Bravo, I think it, I think it was more business like, girl, y'all stole my stole my stuff, right? And I think that at least, not at least, but with, and, and with NeNe, it crossed from business to personal. Like, girl, when she started throwing insults and when she started calling people names, even if it's true, that's when it's kind of like, okay, girl, you calling the girls cokeheads, you calling the girls racist. Like, even if it's true, you're not going to hide, you're not going to keep nobody at your job if they call you a racist and a cokehead, period, right? But anyways... So, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? The girls are getting comfortable. So, the girls are getting comfortable, right? Like, I, you know, I think, of course, production plays a huge part in, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta not being what it should be or could be. A part of me believes that they are trying to usher in Real Housewives of Potomac as the new Atlanta. I think that for them, they probably look at, 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 at Atlanta as being on their last leg. So, girl, we probably got a few more years with these bitches and then they done. So we're going to go ahead and put all our energy into Real Housewives of Potomac. I really do believe now that they're trying to make the Real Housewives of Potomac the the new show for Bravo. I think that they are probably at the point where they're probably going to give Atlanta probably two or three more years, maybe two or three more years, and I think it may be a wrap. I think that if Orange County, I think that if they get rid of Orange County, I think Atlanta is definitely behind Orange County. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyways, I think, of course, the production sucks. But I do also think that they've gotten comfortable. Because when you think about the, like, when you think about Cynthia, Cynthia really got a lot to talk about. Remember what Cynthia said? I think it was at the reunion that I think one of Mike's daughter daughters or somebody didn't come to the wedding. Girl, why? Why she didn't come to the wedding? Girl, that's something, it's something going on right there with that right, right there that needs to be discussed. So I think that some of these girls, and I get it, because if I was on a reality TV, I would try to keep as much of my, as much of my business to myself as possible. But I think that at some point, y'all just going to dinner, y'all just going on trips, that shit is played out. I get it that you don't want nobody in your business. I get that y'all have given a lot, but at the end of the day, bitch, this is what you signed up for. I get that, you know, if if, if your business out out there, who who volunteers their business? Nobody. Even if you're getting paid, right? Nobody's just going to volunteer their business. But I think that, baby, if the people come to you and tell you, okay, baby, in order for you to come to season 14, you're going to have to bring something new. You're going to have to bring something new. So, yeah, we're going to talk about you and Mike, but we really need to talk about you, Mike, his baby mama. Let's bring two of them, let's bring them ex-wives onto the show. 
See, that's when you start playing with your marriage quarters is kept. But, you know, it's it's a lot. Go- I feel like Cynthia and Mike together have a lot going on to the point where Cynthia could have something to discuss in season 14. I just think it depends on whether or not she wants to discuss it. I also read that, that Cynthia may be getting uh, a spinoff. You know, if she does, it's gonna have to be something. She's gonna have to bring her, bring, bring, bring some people, right? I think that if if, if I think that if she tries to pull the Nene leaks, it's not gonna work. Y'all, I'm sorry, but people as a whole, we're not that interesting. We're just not. As interesting as you may think that you are, you really not. You really not to the point where, girl, you can have a camera follow you around all day, and girl, you think that you gonna give the girls what you need. Girl, you might need to bring in your messy ass cousin. You might need to bring in your ghetto ass friend. You might need to bring in your mama. You might need to bring in two of your sorority sisters, and then you probably got a hit show. But to think that you just gonna have a hit show based off of what some one liners, aka Nene. Nene had a lot going on. Nene could have brought in some of Greg's children. She could have brought in some of her family. Like, girl, yeah, the, the girl, they, the girls have what it takes in order to remain successful on Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's just that do you want to do it or not? You can say what you want to say about Kenya Moore, but Kenya Moore don't mind in don't mind bringing in her family members. She don't mind bringing in her daddy or her, or, 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 or her auntie Cisco. Shout out to Funky Dineva or her cousin. She don't mind letting us know that her mama ain't shit, right? She don't mind walking up to her mama's house on camera, knowing damn well her mama ain't going to answer the door, <laughs> right? She don't mind bringing her trifling ass husband onto the show. So I think that... Once you realize that, girl, in order for me to be successful and remain on this show, I'm going to have to open up the doors. Baby, you're going to have to open up the door. The door is closed. Yeah, the door going to be closed and your ass going to be opening when your ass going to the unemployment office. Right? So, I don't. again, I don't know if that was Cynthia's little message to us to let us know that, girl, she got her walking papers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that, again, I think that a, a lot of these girls... They have something to talk about. They do. They have something to talk about. It's just that are you willing to talk about it? Are you re- are you re- uh, like Kenya? Quiet as it's kept. Are you willing to look like a fool again over Mark? Because it's quiet as it's kept, girl. People gonna talk about it. You know. Candy. Candy don't mind bringing... That's one thing I've said about Candy. Candy does not mind bringing in her messy-ass aunts and her messy-ass mama. She didn't mind bringing in Block, right? She didn't mind bringing up the fact that Block wasn't shit. And she didn't mind bring. She didn't mind letting us see her mama go at it with Common. She didn't mind. Candy, no. I can't do this by myself. Bitch, I need to bring in. I need to, like I said, girl. Everybody got a messy ass cousin. Everybody, cousin. Everybody got a cousin that ain't shit. Everybody got a couple of friends who want to fight, right? But at the end of the day, you know, like one thing I never liked about uh, Phaedra. Did y'all notice Phaedra never brought nobody onto the show? The only people we saw with Phaedra was her messy ass, trifling ass mama. I don't give a damn when nobody said I think her mama was no good. Phaedra, mama, Apollo, and that's it. At least with the other girls, we done, we done, we done met their cousins, we done met their sisters, we done met their. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, show. That's all I wanted. Shout out to Cynthia. If she come back, she come back. If she don't, she don't. I mean, I ain't writing a bitch no check. So at the end of the day, I really ain't got that much to say <laughs> about it. Well, I got a lot to say, but girl, it ain't my money. Bye, y'all.